Hello everyone, my name is Nadia Kerza, and today I'll be speaking about a paper I co-authored with Daniel Delmonico, Dr. Motahari Aslami, and Dr. Nazanin Andilabi, based at the University of Michigan School of Information and Carnegie Mellon HCI Institute. The algorithms used in online platforms like social media are often mysterious and unclear to those who encounter them. And yet, these algorithms interact with our identities often, whether it be an algorithm recommending content to a user based on what it believes they want to see, or an algorithm hiding content because of the identity held by a content creator. One way users make sense of what they see on online platforms, including the absence of certain identities, is through the development of algorithmic folk theories. These folk theories are unconfirmed beliefs users hold to explain the output of algorithms, such as the videos users see on TikTok's main feed, the For You page. In recent years, the short form video sharing platform TikTok has been in the news for alleged and admitted identity suppression through both its content moderation techniques and the platform's infamous For You page algorithm that generates a user's main feed with a never ending stream of recommended video content. In this study, we investigate how TikTok users believe the TikTok algorithm operates in relation to identity and how these user perceptions shape their behaviors on the platform. Through 15 semi-structured interviews with TikTok users in the US, we learned participants thought TikTok's algorithm operated through seeing two types of identity, person and social identity. Drawing from Stetson Burke, person identity refers to the characteristics an individual understands as making them distinct from others, such as an interest in cooking or the show Schitt's Creek. And social identity refers to characteristics and meanings attributed to a social group that an individual may feel they themselves or others belong to such as a certain race or gender. For this presentation, we will focus on participant experiences with social identity. Particip participants had many thoughts on how the algorithm valued different social identities. These thoughts were often informed by who they saw and do not see on their For You page. Identities believed to be suppressed were on the basis of race and ethnicity, body size and physical appearance, ability status, class status, LGBTQ identity, and political and social justice group affiliation. Many participants held strong ideas about who and what is suppressed and amplified by the algorithm. They did not believe people of all social identities have an equal chance being amplified by the algorithm to a wide audience on TikTok's platform. For example, participant one believed the algorithm suppressed content creators of color and that the algorithm did not see Black people as something other users on the app would want to see. In response to these beliefs about the algorithm, participants resisted the suppression of certain social identities through individual and collective actions and altered performances. For purposes of this presentation, I will focus on individual and collective actions. Participants took individual actions to resist the algorithm. To amplify content on the platform, users intentionally engaged with content about or from creators with marginalized social identities, like this participant who intentionally followed Black content creators to support their content and help their videos be boosted to others' For You pages. Participants understood themselves as operating within an ecosystem with others holding identities that might be deemed more or less valuable by the algorithm specifically when it came to content related to social justice issues. Collective actions to amplify social justice content on the platform included users collectively engaging with a video, users with perceived privilege lending their account to those with marginalized social identities, as well as users choosing to abstain from producing content for a period of time. In this example, the participant describes a collective we that sends waves of engagement on a single video to spread its content across the platform. We theorize our findings through Jasanoff's co-production lens. Co-production provides a useful lens to interpret our findings because of the framework's fluidity and its aims to find connections between our knowledge and how we come to have it, as opposed to more rigid deterministic approaches. TikTok's algorithm and its users co-produce co definitions of social identity on TikTok by both simultaneously categorizing users on the app into these various identities and articulating what it means to be of a certain social identity. For example, participants felt TikTok's algorithm was programmed to identify racial categories and suppress people of color. They shared examples of changing their behavior on the app to resist the suppression. This behavior is informed by their knowledge of what a racial identity is, and this knowledge shaped the videos they chose to interact with. 
Both the algorithm and the user are working together in ways that co-produce knowledge of these racial categories and other social identities. In our paper, we describe the other folk theories that resonated prior work by scholars like Aslami and colleagues. But importantly, through the study, we also contribute the novel algorithmic folk theory, the identity strainer theory. This theory refers to the belief that one's social feeds are the result of algorithms recognizing, classifying, sorting, and suppressing social identities based on its conceptions of which social identities are or are not valuable and wanted, or which ones do or do not deserve visibility. This creates a social media experience where some users hold what we introduce as algorithmic privilege, defined as privilege held by users who are positioned to benefit from how an algorithm operates on the basis of identity, and where those lacking algorithmic privilege experience harm that we call algorithmic representational harm. We introduce this harm as those experienced as a result of being rendered invisible, trivialized, suppressed, or otherwise further marginalized on the basis of their identities and the algorithm's understanding of their identities. It is a result of a user lacking algorithmic privilege and being subjected to algorithmic symbolic annihilation. Algorithmic symbolic annihilation established by Indelebi in 2021 occurs when algorithms further reductive understandings of identities that render some invisible and marginalized. Algorithmic representational harm draws from this prior work that draws from the long historical context of feminist media scholarship. As we saw earlier, participant one believed the algorithm did not see black people as valuable and as a result, they were suppressed and rendered invisible on the platform. The consequences of the suppression and further marginalization led to some participants feeling like they did not belong on the platform, which is just one of the examples of algorithmic representational harm. While TikTok publicly claims that its algorithm, algorithm works to bring diverse videos into a user's main feed, this does not reflect the experiences of some of its users who express witnessing a lack of representation along a wide range of identities. Participants expressed wanting to shape how the algorithm prioritizes certain social identities and content to be more equitable. TikTok and other social media platforms with algorithmically generated feeds can create a more inclusive platform by understanding users' folk theories of their algorithms and by addressing their users' concerns that motivate actions such as resistance to the algorithm. We argue that perceptions of algorithm algorithmic bias and of the algorithm, regardless of whether the perceptions match to what these te algorithms technically do, have the potential to yield real impact on entire technological systems of social media platforms and their feeds, garnering algorithmic resistance. Users and algorithms play a role in producing how we understand and make sense of different social identities, such as how a user conceptualizes a certain race or gender. We further discuss the algorithm and user conceptions of identity in our proposed new algorithmic folk theory, the identity strainer theory, where users perceive the algorithm as a system that filters content based on social identity and creates meanings of which social identities are valuable and deserving of visibility, as well as which social identities have algorithmic privilege and who may be vulnerable to algorithmic representational harm. We see the identity strainer theory and our concepts of algorithmic privilege and algorithmic representational harm as applicable to other algorithmic systems and concepts to further interrogate how algorithmic systems engage with identities online and to consider identity as an integral part of a user's algorithmic experience. We invite you to learn more in detail by reading our article. Thank you so much for listening.